Hello friends, we're back again. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the decimal format lock. And in this instance, our focus is on money dividers. We want to separate the values of money. In this case, we have an example where we want to divide tens, hundreds, and thousands, and so on. So to do that, we can simply use the format lock. So let's have an example. Just open a sample project in which you'd like to implement this and have a text view. This text view should contain numbers. Then we're going to divide them. Let's have, for example, 10,000. 10,000. Then I want to center the content just so you have a clear view of what's going on. And I'll put my text here and increase its size. Let's increase it to somewhere about 50. Okay, so 10,000. So we want to divide this 10,000 into placeholder values, of course. So we want it to be 10,000 with a comma after the 10. So to do this, just go to logic. Then we're going to have our set text. Then we're setting the text on our text view. Then let's get the decimal format block. So add the two decimal format block there. And we also need a two number block inside the two decimal format block like that. Then we also get the value. Of course, we're getting this value from the same text view. So we get it like that, which means the 10,000 will be there. To convert, it will be converted to number and into decimal format. So our decimal format will be like this hash comma hash hash comma hash hash depending on the number of values that we have in our string so save this let's run this and see what we get install it and open it so there we go 10,000 you can see that we've got a comma right after the 10. So if you wanted this to be, for example, implemented in a sales app and you want to add a currency symbol, you can simply do this. So let's try to put a dollar there just to make it more fun. But uh, the main essence of this tutorial has already been achieved. So just to make it interesting and for you to really get what's going on, Let's just add a dollar sign there. So if you were to create an e-commerce app, you can use this and it will make it look more professional. So there we go. You see how this thing works. You can utilize it in your own projects and probably play around with it until you get uh, your desire yeah so i've done this and a number of projects on my blog in case you want to see other tutorials that i've done you can always visit supersketchstore.com